Imagine a place where towering structures scrape the sky and massive dams harness the power of nature. Well, that's Ethiopia, and today, we're diving deep into the captivating world of ongoing megaprojects that are turning this ancient land into a beacon of modern development. From humble villages, where traditions run deep, to vibrant metropolises bursting with energy, Ethiopia has undergone an incredible transformation. The ongoing megaprojects are the threads weaving its past, present, and future into a magnificent tapestry of progress. From creating job opportunities to providing clean energy and modern infrastructure, these projects are the driving force behind Ethiopia's social and economic evolution. So, fasten your seatbelts, and let's dive headfirst into the exciting world of Ethiopia's ongoing megaprojects. 5. Majo Hawasa Highway This 202-kilometer marvel is making waves and for all the right reasons. It's the road to progress, connecting the towns of Mojo Meki, Meki Ziwe, Ziwe Arsi Najili, and Arsi Najili Hawasa. This impressive highway is being built with a budget of 13.58 billion bare, making it one of Ethiopia's most ambitious road projects. Notably, it's well underway, with 88% of the Mojo Meki section already completed. Speaking of completion, 79% of the Meki's Way section is also finalized. Furthermore, this highway is such a big deal because it is all about connecting the capital, Addis Ababa, to the picturesque Hawasa. Notably, the Majo Hawasa Expressway is not just a road, it's part of the Trans-African Highway. Thus, it is the backbone of a massive network, the Cairo Gaboroni Cape Town Highway, stretching over 10,000 kilometers, and our Majo Hawasa Expressway is a vital segment of this road. Moreover, this highway isn't just about logistics and trade. It's also a gateway for tourism. Travelers, both local and international, will find it easier to explore the stunning tourist attractions of southern nations, nationalities, and people's regional states and Oromia national regional states. Besides, it links to the thriving Hawassa Industrial Park, where manufacturing and export-oriented businesses are setting up shop. Also, this project brings a ray of hope to the local communities as it not only supplies labor, food, and accommodation for immigrant workers but also reaps the rewards of improved environmental and economic conditions. 4. Addis Ababa Riverside Project Behold Shedger Park's Friendship Square is a symbol of vibrant, green development and a gift of friendship between Ethiopia and China. This monumental project is a game-changer, a masterpiece of urban design and environmental revitalization that's changing lives in the face of the city. The project, managed by the First Highway Engineering Group Company, Limited of China Communications Construction Company Limited, is a labor of love and dedication. Shedger Park's Friendship Square isn't just your ordinary park. It's the largest and most functionally diverse urban square in Africa. Before this project, the riverside area was neglected and marred by pollution, waste, and a lack of proper management. Friendship Square is now a comprehensive urban oasis, boasting a celebration square, a flower belt, a man-made lake, an artistic garden, a palm gallery, a musical fountain, and beautiful relief sculptures. At night, the square transforms into a mesmerizing wonderland, creating a stunning spectacle for all who visit. Moreover, this square has breathed new life into the city, elevating the living standards of the residents. It's an iconic landmark that's garnered praise from the Ethiopian president and prime minister. Notably, the project created nearly 2,500 job opportunities for Ethiopians, stimulating local businesses like flour, plant, and stone material suppliers. Furthermore, this square has even become a sanctuary for wildlife in Ethiopia. It features a man-made lake that provides a haven for nearly a hundred species of birds, even during the dry season. Overall, the project is a tribute to sustainable symbiosis and harmonious human nature coexistence. It shows how technology-driven development can revitalize an entire city, even one as ecologically fragile as Addis Ababa. 3. Trans-African Highway the Trans-African Highway is a vast network of roads and a lifeline for Africa's economic and social development. Notably, 
This colossal project spans across multiple African countries, connecting regions, economies, and people. Ethiopia, in particular, plays a crucial role in this extensive road network. It's part of the Trans-African Highway, a vast network that's like the continent's central nervous system. In Ethiopia, the Trans-African Highway consists of several key routes. We've got the Cairo Gaboroni Cape Town Highway, the longest among the Trans-African Highways, covering over 10,000 kilometers. But one section we're particularly excited about is the route connecting Addis Ababa to the Kenyan port of Mombasa. This highway is a lifeline for trade, it's a gateway for tourists, and it's a symbol of regional connectivity. Notably, the highway isn't just about roadways, it's about unleashing the potential of a nation. It's the path to economic growth, job creation, and an improved standard of living. Overall, it's estimated that the Trans-African Highway will facilitate a significant increase in trade and transportation efficiency. This, in turn, will stimulate economic growth in Ethiopia and the entire region. 2. Adwa Zero Kilometer Museum Project This mega-project, nestled near Emperor Menelik II's historic site, is an ambitious endeavor that will soon stand tall as the biggest of its kind in Ethiopia. Notably, this grand project covers a vast area, spanning 3.3 hectares at the heart of the capital city. Furthermore, the Adwa Zero Kilometer Museum project boasts a spectacular blend of multi-purpose units, as it is a museum and an entire cultural complex with an amphitheater, libraries, youth centers, and so much more. Moreover, the budget for this grand project is a whopping 4.6 billion Ethiopian bear. It's equipped with state-of-the-art parking that can accommodate more than a thousand cars at once. Besides, the Adwa Zero Kilometer Project is no ordinary museum, as it serves as a symbol of an African victory and a monument to the Battle of Adwa. The Battle of Adwa was a pivotal moment in history where Ethiopians valiantly defended their independence. Therefore, this project will serve as a platform for reinvigorating the spirit of Pan-Africanism. Standing tall at the heart of Piazza, adjacent to Menelik II Square, this museum project is where Ethiopians will celebrate the legacy of their forefathers. It's a tribute to strength, valor, and independence. But the museum's purpose is not just about honoring the past, it's about shaping the future, as the Adwa Zero Kilometer Project is expected to be a cultural hub, an educational resource, and a place for reflection. Overall, the Adwa Zero Kilometer Museum Project is not just a construction project but a journey through history, a celebration of independence, and a promise for a brighter future. 1. New Dry Ports Projects The New Dry Ports Projects are a game-changer, a catalyst for trade, and a boost for the region's development. First things first, the Ethiopian Shipping and Logistics Services Enterprise has set its sights on expanding dry port terminals to facilitate the efficient handling of imports and exports. For instance, the construction of dry port terminals in Hawassa and Jima is set to commence shortly. With an allocation of 150 million Ethiopian bear for each project's preliminary construction phase. Notably, the Hawassa Dry Port will cover 3.5 hectares of land, while the Jima Dry Port is set to sprawl across a whopping 20 hectares. Additionally, the Majo Dry Port Expansion Project is a transformative initiative that includes expansion, modernization, efficiency, and a smoother import-export process. The expansion project involves the construction of six warehouses, road and pavement works, multipurpose buildings, and various operating facilities, as it's a key transportation and logistics hub connecting Ethiopia's hinterland to ports in neighboring Djibouti. The Majo Dry Port expansion will boost the capacity of the electrified Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, the first of its kind in East Africa. Overall, with more dry port terminals, the trend is towards a logistics sector that efficiently handles export and import. This is a game-changer, a transformative initiative that's poised to enhance infrastructure, revolutionize export consolidation, and make import-export activities a breeze. Conclusion From the awe-inspiring Majo Hawassa Expressway to the monumental Adwa Zero Kilometer Museum project and the game-changing new dry ports, these projects aren't just construction, 
bear a promise for a brighter tomorrow. Ethiopia's vision for a developed future isn't just a dream, it's a reality in the making. The expansion of these logistics and infrastructure projects will open the doors to progress, create job opportunities, and spur economic growth. We firmly believe that these megaprojects have the potential to revolutionize Ethiopia's economy. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more informative content.